Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Wednesday, December 4th of 2019. To many, the life of a pastor may seem simple enough. They preach on Sunday morning, maybe Sunday night, and teach again on Wednesday or Thursday night for midweek service. But have we ever really considered exactly what the pastor must do just to keep the house of God open? Not to mention planning for ministry outreaches marital counseling, board members, staff meetings, and other personal meetings with church members. Then there's studying for the messages of the week in prayer time. For in order to be led by the Holy Spirit, one must spend time with Father God. All of this only after the pastor has taken care of his or her own personal family. Because balance is vital to the success of a pastor. Ministry focus is a must. Our shepherds must maintain clear vision for the work of the Lord. There also must be a commitment to biblical priorities while striving toward their goals, all the time remaining true to their God-given gifts and talents. So today, this morning's prayer enters the fourth day of a seven-day series concerning praying for the needs and blessings for our pastors daily. Father, there is just so much to the life of a pastor. In addition to balancing their personal home and family, there's the matter of keeping the church doors open and the church members focused upon you. We pray for our shepherds as they cast the vision and birth the ministry focus for our house of worship. Within each of them, you have planted the vision and the desire to see it come to pass. As we catch their vision, let them write it on tablets for us to read so that we can run along beside them to help nurture and grow it into maturity. Father, we ask that you give our shepherds clear vision as they proceed with the plans you have given them, that they would be in constant communication with you, not wavering in the quest, but continuing to see the progress through their spiritual eyes. As they present and promote their vision to others, we bind them to the process of completion only through the commitment to biblical principles and priorities. For there will be many who will try to persuade them to success through carnal ways of the world. Father, most of all, we pray for their commitment to remain true to the gifts and talents that you have deposited within them. We must realize that the pastor is not to be doing every job within the church. That growth and completion of visions and dreams come swiftly through the concerted efforts of many within the body of Christ. Help us, Father, to understand that not all pastors are created uniformly, but each has been given a different set of gifts and talents. And it's up to us to join with them in completing the remaining jobs within your house. As we honor the man and woman of God and accept our assignments, there is unity and power to see the things of yours come to completion. This is truly operating in the bonds of agape love and affection. Father, the position of pastor was never meant to be a do-it-all vocation. As we join in with the vision of the shepherd, we free them to be able to complete the assignments you have given them due to their gifts and talents, which in turn creates joy and fulfillment in their lives and length of tenure in their service. And why is this important? Because as the shepherd goes, so goes the church. In the name of Jesus, we pray these things. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer. And as always, I'm praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.